our Chicago campus representative, Ken Torbeck, will be graduating summa cum laude from the Computer Information Systems program with a concentration in computer forensics. A, recent, a current recipient of the State Farm Scholarship for CIS students, Mr. Torbeck spent most of the last 20 years working in the computer field. Ten years ago, he collaborated with a friend to start InfoSight Network, a nonprofit company that helps people with special needs and disabilities find equipment to help them do things that others take for granted, including using a computer. After graduation, Mr. Torbeck will seek employment in the computer forensics field while continuing his education at the Keller School of Management. Please welcome Kenneth Torbeck. Good afternoon, President Dill, honorees, deans, professors, faculty and staff, family and friends, and of course, fellow graduates of the class of 2008. As I look out over this crowd, one thing comes to mind. How the heck did I get here? <laughs> but I am here. I am up on this stage in front of my peers, representing my fellow graduates as student scholar. And this is really an amazing thing. Like many of the graduates, I'm not a traditional student. I graduated from high school 19 years ago. And if someone had told me just a few years ago that I would be graduating from college, not just graduating from college, but graduating from honors, I would have laughed. I've always had to struggle in school. I barely passed high school, and grade school was even worse for me. I was even held back in the third grade and had to watch all my friends move ahead of me. Even today, school is still a struggle for me. It takes me twice as long to read a chapter as anyone else. It would even take me hours to write a single post in those wonderful threaded discussions of ours. <laughs> so how did I get on this stage today? There are two reasons. The first is that while I'm not a traditional student, DeVry is definitely not a traditional school. At DeVry, you don't learn from just lectures and textbooks. You get real hands-on experience in classes that are much smaller than other schools. What gives you a lot more direct interaction with wonderful professors who themselves are not traditional because they bring real-world experiences into the classroom. Most of all, DeVry provides motivation and opportunity. DeVry provides motivation from day one when you can see your future ahead of you and how by taking this journey, we'll soon see your dreams come true. DeVry provides opportunity because you're not just restricted to a single campus in a single town. You can take classes in your home campus, one of the other campuses or centers, or even online. This is something our school's founder, Dr. Herman DeVry, who the Smithsonian Institute calls the father of distance and visual learning, would be very proud of. DeVry provides opportunity because it goes out of the way to accommodate the special needs of students, helping them to succeed at whatever level they choose. The second reason I am on this stage is because of a group of very special people. And if you indulge me, I would like to acknowledge those people who helped me get here today. And I encourage you to do the same as soon as you can. Acknowledge those people who have pushed you in this direction. Acknowledge those friends and professors who have pulled you in this direction. Take this moment to acknowledge those who love you, and maybe even a few of those that hate you. None of us could have gotten here on our own. So share this moment with those who helped you get here today. I would like to acknowledge some of the people who helped me get here today. I would like to thank the deans, professors, and staff of the Gurney Center in the Chicago campuses. Especially, I would like to thank Dean Zahn, who has always found the time to go the extra step and greatly encouraged me to make this speech today, even if he didn't show up. <laughs> I would like to thank Professors Rich Harris and James Richards, who both taught me more than they will ever realize. I'd like to thank Professor Dr. Russ Winterbaum, who I had some very intense discussions with but he taught me to be a more critical thinker. 
I would like to thank Professors James Papademus, Luke Papademus, and their sister Catherine Papademus, who together invented tag team teaching, bringing the experience of three great professors into a single class. I would like to acknowledge my family for putting up with me over the last three years, or maybe I should say putting up with me over the last 38 years. Mom, Dad, who I don't say thank you to enough, you've always been at my side to help me in times of struggle, encouraging me all the way. I love you both. My brother James, for his encouragement. By the way, James, you kicked me first. Grandma, who doesn't realize she encourages me, but she really does. I especially would like to acknowledge Jenny and Matthew. If it was not for the reemergence of our friendship, Jenny, I would not be on the stage today. I would not be about to graduate from college. I may not even be alive. You encouraged me to become a better man, and they changed my life forever. I wish I had the words in my mind and heart to tell you how much I thank you for that. Matthew, my little seven-year-old buddy, thank you for letting me see the world through your eyes, and thank you for all the guys' nights. I look forward to seeing you up on this stage someday. I love you both very much. There's so many others I would like to acknowledge, but time will not allow for that. So I will say a general thank you to all the professors, deans, staff, classmates, and friends who I had contact with my time at DeVry. You have all had great impact on me, and I thank you all for that. I will conclude by saying this. In a few moments, you will all walk across the stage and receive your diplomas. At a time, it may seem like your educational journey is over. However, we must all keep in mind that this is not the end of our education, but rather the beginning of our next education. This is because the most important thing we learned at DeVry was not which business theory is best or the relationship between a base class and a diverted class in object-oriented programming. The most important thing we've learned is how to take in the information from around us, how to interpret that information, and most of all, how to use that information. We can't stop learning now. We need to continue to learn new skills. We need to continue to learn new things. As Plato put it, the direction in which education starts a man will determine his future life. Ladies and gentlemen of the graduating class, this is the time, this is the moment to let your DeVry education lead you in the direction of a great new future. Thank you and congratulations class of 2008. Thank you, Kenneth.